Harrison Ford is returning to form this year with 42 and hopefully Ender's Game, another one of our action favorites is also set to return, Keanu Reeves in 47 Ronin. Described as a Japanese Lord of the Rings, 47 Ronin is a fantasy take on the true story of a group of 18th century samurai who set out to avenge the murder of their master. And while Reeves of Hawaiian and Chinese descent stars, the film refreshingly features a number of Japanese actors, showcasing once more how the increasing global market for movies is changing the way Hollywood feels about diversity on screen. And since 47 Ronin can be best described as Asian fusion cinema, here's my list of movies to get you in the mood before the film opens this December. Now, I can't think of a better way to start than Seven Samurai, the 1954 film by not only one of Japan's greatest filmmakers, but cinemas in general, Akira Kurosawa. This is one of the few Japanese films to cross over to the West, alone a rare feat, much less back in the 1950s. In fact, the film was so well received that Hollywood remade it as the Western The Magnificent Seven, directed by John Sturgis and starring Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen, and a young Charles Bronson. I highly recommend you check out both films, perhaps even back to back for comparison, to understand the selfless, wandering warrior mentality of the samurai and the cowboy. Another take on the samurai is 2003's The Last Samurai, as Tom Cruise goes all dances with wolves in 19th century Japan. This often forgotten film is a hidden gem by gladiator scribe John Logan and glory director Ed Zwick, and also features a number of Japanese actors including Ken Watanabe. And unlike an inception here, you can actually understand what he says. But let's go back to Japanese cinema as 47 Ronin does try to be authentic. Plus, it's always a good idea to broaden one's cinematic horizons. So let's cover the basics, shall we? For Japanese genre films, I highly recommend Battle Royale. This is like The Hunger Games. In fact, many feel that author Suzanne Collins ripped off this famous Japanese franchise. But the difference is that Battle Royale has much more bite. Oh hell, it has much more blood! In fact, a number of countries refused to even show the film when it came out in 2000. In animation, I have two recommendations for you. The first is Akira, the 1988 anime that's as sophisticated as any live-action sci-fi flick, with action sequences on par as well. And of course, how can I not recommend a Miyazaki film? The Walt Disney of Japan, almost any of his films will do, but Princess Mononoke is closest in theme to 47 Ronin. And while Tokyo Story features no fantasy elements or action sequences, it is in many ways considered the Japanese Citizen Kane, and an excellent study of Japanese society. But if it's fantasy and action you want, check out neighboring China's Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. Ang Lee's take on a martial arts movie won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film and was also nominated in numerous other categories, including Best Picture and Best Director. Finally, if you want to have a little fun and what Keanu Reeves fan doesn't, I'd also throw in Quentin Tarantino's own Asian fusion flick Kill Bill, as well as Kung Fu Panda. By the way, Kung Fu Panda 3 is finally set for 2015. And that's my list of movies to count down to 47 Ronin. I hope you'll check them out as well as these other Beyond the Trailer episodes.